Welcome back to another episode in the Carolina Panthers franchise and we're starting off with a look at the playoff picture and we are the top spot in the divisional round we're playing the New York Giants just coming off a win against the second seeded Cowboys that is actually a little bit of a surprise right there because the the Cowboys were looking like the team to beat uh, we really chased them around quite a lot and uh, that was that was never looking easy and the Giants beating them actually makes me makes me a little bit hesitant to just go yeah this is going to be easy it certainly is not going to be easy but what i do appreciate a lot is the fact that we uh, got one week to rest up players to heal up players and to just uh, you know get ready for 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 the uh, next three games i hope <laughs> But you never know how the playoffs are going to go. This week, we don't really have a lot to take care of. Um, when you look back at this season, and I'm just going to be doing this really, really quickly. Um, we didn't play the Giants this season, right? So I have no idea. We're going in completely blind here. Um, and uh, so to reduce the blindness, we're going to be taking a look at the roster right now. All right, I think this explains it a little bit. Drake May is the quarterback here, 96 rated superstar after the age 22 out of North Carolina, 10th best QB in the league. Crazy good stats, really crazy good stats. Throwing the run is a little bit lower, carrying strength. Those are certainly less developed, but apart from that, what a freaking beast he already is. Really, really looking very nice. Let's just check out when he was taken. Quick checkup. Here we go. Pick 11 in 2024. All right. Uh, Daniel Jones is the backup. Tim Boyle is the third backup. That also just kind of makes sense, I would say. The running back situation, Saquon Barkley still here, not on the Eagles <laughs> yet. Uh, 28.99. We've got Eric Gray and Dean Jackson here. This is looking like a really, really fantastic room, led by an X Factor uh, running back. Fullbacks, Ben Mason, the wide receivers, one Dolly Robinson, we've got Darius Slayton. Jalen Hyatt, Isaiah Hodgins, Montreal Washington, and Jordan Watkins. These look more or less like a decent room. There's no standout players here. There's no X-Factors, no superstars. Just super solid. Wendell Robinson, very, very good, very, very quick. Uh, Darius Slayton, just an experienced veteran player. Jalen Hyatt, uh, pretty good looking, very fast speed acceleration, 95-97. A rated younger player, you see your Hodgins, Montreal, Washington, and Jordan Watkins following into the decent to solid category, but nothing more to add here. The tight end, Darren Waller, 32 and 82, and behind him, Mason Taylor, 21, 82, already looking ready to overtake here out of the latest draft. Daniel Bellinger is also here, 24, 77. He's not too old. Really, really like this room. Actually, pretty cool. Left tackle. Andrew Thomas, 2696. This is a extremely solid, uh, very, very good left tackle here. Joshua Isidu uh, covering the back up here. The left guard Brady Christensen, 77 rated. Brandon Coleman behind him. Jason Poe. Yes, it solid setup here. I like the succession planning between these two. At center, John Michael Schmitz, Adam Minnesota, 2681, and Jake Andrews. Uh, at right guard, Talisa Fuaga, 2386. This is a very good addition here at the 24 draft. Marcus McKeithen and Emil Ekior Jr. Uh, really, again, a solid room uh, with a clear starter. Very, very good setup. Right tackle, Evan Neal, 2484, and uh, Jonathan Mendoza. That's a rookie behind him. So the offensive line is actually pretty good. 96, 77, 81. 86 and 84 a lot of protection for drake may on defense michael williams 20 and 88 that's a rookie by the way just putting that out there cedric johnson 23 71 and michael williams looking like a freaking beast already he's going to be nasty he's going to be putting pressure on us a lot right edge derek brown 27 94 and chawan briggs derek brown where did he come from was he initially on the giants Nah, he's coming from the Carolina Panthers. I, I should have known that. I I should have known that. All right, we're, we're just going to gloss over this, all right? I'm, we're just going to pretend that never happened. D-Tackle takes the Lawrence X-Factor, 27.99, Nasir Stackhouse, and DJ Davidson. This is an extremely good front group here. Edge and edge and D-Tackle. Very, very good. Left outside linebacker, Jalen Walker. That's a rookie, 21.81, and Anthony Orgy. Now uh, we've got Bobby Okereke, another X Factor run stuffer, 29.95. We've got Michael McFadden, KJ Britt, 
super solid. And Kevin Thibodeau, 2493. Jesus Christ. Jojo Ozugwu uh, completing the linebacking group here. Deontay Banks is the CB1. We've got Chris Abrams drain 2485 uh, as very, very good cornerbacks one and two. We've got Adderley Jackson here. We've got Trey Hawkins and Deshaun Jameson. This is a super solid room. Going to limit our passing options. Free safety, Xavier McKinney, 2788. And Trevarius owns 2571. Uh, strong safety, Kirby Joseph and Alex Cook. And uh, Joshua Cardi, the kicker, the punter, Ethan Evans. All right, so how do we approach this game um, without, you know, making us too vulnerable? Wait up. That's not what I wanted to press. That's not what I wanted to press. I want to go to weekly strategy. I think I need more coffee. <laughs> All right, here we go. Defensive game plan. How do we handle this? I think a uh, short pass makes a lot of sense. We've got 94... And we are now in the playoffs. I don't want to risk any injuries anymore. Uh, that is certainly uh, not something that I want to see now. This makes sense. Blitz counter. Let's go with this one here. Player health. Again, 95 half pads and splits for everybody. I really, really want to make sure that we don't lose anybody to injury. Because that would be really detrimental right now. Bo Clark. Uh, Malik Mustafa. CJ Green. Branson. Robinson. Kamari Wilson. We had quite a lot of injuries to the offensive line. But I do think we're getting players back uh, sometime around now. All right, we can leave this as is. Left guard still injured. Rasheem Betts will get some more training here. Let's go. Uh, Branson, Robinson, Bo Clark, CJ Green. Uh, let's see. Malik Mustafa. Can we maybe get someone else trained up here? Lindsay Rainey, yeah. I just need to really have that front line solidified as much as I can. CJ Green will be stepping in from time to time uh, because Joe Farmer, I think, is still out injured. Uh, yeah, that makes sense like that. All right, let's go. Two plus passing touchdowns. Uh, yeah, let's let's try and go for that. Why not? Uh, 20 points or less. We're going to go 300 defensive yards and I'm going to go for the 450. Because uh, I'd really like to get those five points at least. We are not picking up any new injuries, so that at least is positive. Joe Farmer will return in two weeks' time. We've got Domani Jackson, who will also return in two weeks' time. And Tyleek Williams, who will be back next week. That is going to be a big boost. Um, one of my starting D-tackles to return uh, to active duty. I really think that the... Uh, Wild card round, uh, giving us some time to heal up was an important factor. Also, kind of limiting uh, player fatigue a little bit right there, making sure that we have uh, well rested players uh, that can really return to duty uh, fully fit. And we'll have everybody back for the Super Bowl if we really get there. Donald Washington, let's go. We're going to go with this here 85 overall. I'm so happy that I brought him in. It was really. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not patting myself on the back here, but that was just uh, something that we really needed to do also in terms of being competitive uh, because, yeah, we, we just weren't that competitive with the setup that we had. Um, I did like Blake Whitehart, especially in the first uh, season. He was actually a good addition. Uh, but apart from that, I felt like we needed uh, needed some more, uh, some more uh, push, some more power in that department. Steven Nelson, quarterback. He, of course, is nothing but a mentor, but he still gets an upgrade. So there's that. He's now even more of a scheme fit. Malik Mustafa, there we go. 75 as a base, but with the buffs, of course, 78. I really like this. I really like this. We are really getting younger players into positions here. And I'm, you know, I'm already thinking about what to do for the next... Uh, 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 for for the next iteration, uh, for the next franchise series on uh, on, on on the next man, uh, always planning ahead. We've got 68 points to spend. That is actually pretty cool. I think that should help us fully upgrade defense. Let me just check this out. Yeah, we can we can dump this down here. This is great. Let's go like this. I've got 56 points. I could. I could spend those on uh, revealing a talent. Who could we go for? Talik Williams, Tegra Chibola. I think I'd like to know what Tegra Chibola is, though. Uh, Talik Williams, uh, I think we will be revealing him anyways. 
Um, so let's go with Tegra Chipola. I would, or do I want to? Do I want to waste 50 points? I think, I think we rather need need those to buff uh, buff our offense a little bit. So let's let's just let's let's use him here. I think this is better better spent uh, offensive line guru. We're gonna uh, put those points here. Strength for the offensive line. That's hugely important. Run block or pass block for the offensive line. Uh, I I think we can can we upgrade both or is it only gonna be one? I don't know. Uh, be strength pass block pass block pass block. Uh, let's go with the run block because if that works, uh, then we have that weapon available all the time. All right, guys, we are fully upgraded. We have uh, yeah upgraded everything, and now we are ready to dive into the game here. Um, let's play the divisional playoff game against the New York Giants at home. We're the home team. That's good. Bank of America. Did I say Bank of America or Bank of? <laughs> Either way. Divisional round time. Drake May. The quarterback for the Giants. He's got very good offensive weapons lined up in front of him or next to him. We're going all black, by the way. We're going all black in the alternate uniform. I just really love that uniform so much. Um, it would be a shame not to use it. Which is why we're going to be rocking it in the uh, playoffs now. We might also uh, bring it out in the Super Bowl. Or I might do something completely different. I have no idea yet. But uh, <laughs> let's, let's let that, you know, come to us. Let's focus on this game first, alright? It's no use talking about the future. We need to make sure that we get this one here done. Bryce Young getting everybody ready. We do have a pretty solid offensive line. Uh, I will be using Tegra Jibola as my left guard. Um, that much is clear. Here they come. And immediately on the board. Let me dive into the uh, depth chart real quick. I just want to adjust the uh, left guard position. Because we are... Uh, ah, Tegra Jibola is already here. Alright, CJ Green. Alright, everything taken care of. Did I do that before? I don't know. Let's go. We're going to start with a run play here. Uh, we are looking at Dexter Lawrence and Bobby Okereke here. There's a heavy breathing. Number 41 in there. Oh, yikes. Chuba Hubbard, second and nine. I was kind of expecting this, uh, that uh, the uh, run game might be a little bit problematic today. Because we're just facing such a solid group here. Um, what's the game day factor? Change direction slightly faster. All right, keep on pounding. We're the home team. And I really, really don't want to give up uh, our momentum. Tommy Tramble, beautifully done here. Stepping forward. Kevin Thibodeau with an injury. Number five. Pick the 2022 draft. Very exciting addition, I, I think, to the Giants. He hasn't really delivered his full potential yet. I'm going to say yet. But it's just a different ball game, right? College football is one thing. Having uh, having uh, the real NFL players ahead of you is a wholly, wholly different situation. Terrace Marshall Jr. looks like a solid option. But I will be going with Tommy Tremble here if he gets open, which he does. Come on, stiff arm. Oh, no. Number seven. Good stop. Ike McWanu. Going down here. He's one of those players that does get injured quite a lot. Yeah. All right, so what do we do here? Inside zone, right to uh, left. Chuba Hubbard, do we find some space? Off we go, off we go. Can we evade? Uh, I will slow down a little bit. I would have liked to get around them here uh, and just kind of break away, get behind them. Let's see if the double cross setup works for us. I, I like these options where I do have players going left, right, to just give me, give me, uh, you know, additional options. All right, that was not the case. That was not a good one here. Bobby Okereke almost taken over here, picking off the ball. Let's go the slip screen. Ah, uh, third and eight. Third and eight. Post wheel drag. I think a post wheel drag is a good idea. Jonathan Mingo is on the slot route. Beautifully done. 
Well done, my man. Alright. Another one down. Lindsay Arini. Jeremiah Trotter. Moving past him. Just kind of going. Come on, man. It's all good. Rest up. Get well soon. Terrence Marshall Jr. Anthony Schwartz. I like my options. I really do. We have to be very aware of uh, Bobby Okereke back there. Because he is going to be very dangerous and he's going to be picking us off if we're not careful. So there we go. Tori Horton powering forward. Getting the first down. That's positive. Four and five. Or four, two, five. Moving in on uh, the 60-yard mark here. Tory Horton and Darnell Washington are going to be my receivers. I'm really looking towards Horton here. I would like to hit him back there. Uh, depending on how much time we have, this is usually more or less a surefire way. Number seven was there to pick up this pass, pick up the run here, and uh, immediately put a stop to the progression. And there we go. That's Walker out. Not a sight I like to see. Rushing yards certainly higher for them. Saquon Barkley is uh, always going to be a challenging uh, player to have on the run game. All right. Let's go like this here. I think we're going to try a slam here. Two yards out. That is something that should be doable. There we go. Chuba Hubbard spinning inside. Unstoppable for the Giants defense, although they were putting on pressure. They were putting on pressure right there. So there we go. Washington is happy. Everybody's happy. And Chuba Hubbard gets the score. Breaking inside. Bob Yockrig. He tried to get him here, but he you know, left her dead on that spin move. It's actually pretty cool looking. All right, let's go. Come on. Oh, defense holds him. That is a big one. That is a really big one. We're at the four-yard line. That is not a lot. But if we get, you know, two to three yards per run, I would see that as a as a success here. We're actually powering forward. We get four yards. That's even better. And there we go. Bryce Young. Hyping up the team. Shallow cross right to left. Tori Horton. Here we go. Just need to get him over there. I mean, if I can hat. Uh, if I can go for Jonathan Mingo, that would also be nice. But here we go. A very safe catch. Number 7 was there. Number 25 was never going to let up. <clears throat> That's Abrams uh, Drain. I think that was a rookie, right? There we are. Nice. Beautifully done here. Pushing forward. Double cross. All right, the Chargers beat the Ravens. That's an interesting one. Down there, the score. Gore or Tremble. I'm looking for Marshall as well. This is just a route play that works quite nice. Usually, Mikey McFadden picking up an injury here. And somebody was jumping on his back? Or did, did it just look like that? What was the animation? There we go, halfback punch. Let's go. I'm going to try and just keep mixing it up uh, with uh, run plays, pass plays, just to keep us moving. Oh, yay. All right. Yeah, that was that was a quick one. Nasir Stackhouse with an injury here stopping the clock. And that was brutal, man. That was freaking brutal. Just coming through like a freaking freight train. Inside zone, right to left. Let's pick up some yardage here, guys. Let's pick up some yardage here. That's a flag. Is that a holding? What is that going to be? All right. We're going to be pushed back even further. Terrace Marshall Jr. Come on, man. you got to focus. Second and 23. All right. We are not in uh, running distance anymore. Let's look for, uh, let's look for something different here. Uh, I think I like, let's go with this one here. 
play action Y over looking for tremble looking for um, Darnell Washington and now of course we are gonna be stopped here I mean I could I could just get the clock moving uh, with uh, with a run play but I actually really don't want to do that I actually really don't want to do that let's go verticals looking for tremble even if Mingo is going to be uh, the one uh, to 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 aim for. Ah, that is... Mm, ah, that was thrown under pressure. 100 yards for Bryce Young. 7 and 9. <clears throat> Let's see what we can pull off. Let's see what we can do. That penalty... Well, first the stop and then the penalty. That was really a crushing blow. Come on, Tommy. Let's get you back there. A fourth and, 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 and something would be awesome. And that is going to be an easy pick for McKinney. And we're going to have to punt it here. And I am not liking this. I'm not liking this. It was a good stop by our defense. And uh, I do feel like we quite, uh, kind of squandered that one. There we go. Punt is out. Not a good one. Travis Hodges Tomlinson. Coming in from the side here. Come on, get that ball loose. They're not getting it loose. But we stop him at the 34. Which is around 10 more yards than I would have liked to give him. Drake may not to be underestimated. Oof, that was a big one. All right, let's go. Halfback dive at our own two-yard line. And they are pushing us backwards. They are pushing us backwards. There's no two ways about it, man. There's no two ways about it. Can we go with with Washington? Right there. Oh, and it's knocked out. Come on, man. Bobby Okereke was on him. He was keeping an eye out on him, and he was ready to pounce. That was never going to be easy. All right, let's go. Skinny posts. Let's get it out of there. Come on, guys. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. And again knocked out. Ma, ah, dudes, come on. We've got momentum on our side still, but we are giving it away. We're giving it away at an alarming rate. Let's try this one again. Jonathan Mingo. Come on. Tory Horton is also an option, but I'm rather going to go with Mingo. Just get it. Oh, thank God, man. Whoa, that was that was a last ditch effort. There we go. But we're at the 28. We move forward. That was a big, big gain. Williams was coming around the, the edge there. He's ready to grab us. And the safety is never good. Not something that I want to see. All right, we're going to keep running it here. Let's go with the drive. I want to push forward to the, uh, to the field goal range. So let's go with the play action. Double post here. Washington or Tremble. One of you dudes is going to be available. I know it. There we go. And we step outside. That is a big one. Great job here. Great job. Slot cross time. Terrence Marshall Jr. Tommy Tremble. I'd like to hit Terrence Marshall Jr. He would be the one I'd like to go for. And there we go. Perfectly done. Push down. Push down. So clock will be uh, continuing to tick down. But we're really making some nice progress here. Trail shake. All right. We have to call a t timeout. That was a super fast rundown. Sometimes it just runs down a few seconds. And sometimes it goes down like crazy, man. 44-yard field goal. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. We're going we're gonna to look at verticals. If we can get a player back there, someone like Tommy Tremble, that's good. Reduce the distance some more. If not, we're going to go for a field goal. Just like that. Powering forward. And there we go. That's more or less what I was hoping for. Wasn't sure if we were going to get it. But Tommy Tremble completes the task. Power is ahead. And we're in. What a good job here. What a good job. Well done, Tommy. And what a perfect pass by Bryce Young as well. Really fantastic. Superstar tight end. That is a really solid cornerback. Uh, quarterback. 
All right. As we enter the second half here, we have a lead of 11 points, and that may seem like a comfortable lead, but you know, I've learned to never trust this. You never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen. It's just uh, way too risky to start relying on uh, on a lead uh, because you know you never know when an injury will happen happen um you never know when the opposing defense suddenly goes all out and starts stopping you and and all of a sudden you're not making any progress you know it's just the slightest shift in momentum and that is always going to be always going to be challenging man all right let's go to oh jesus christ 95 i thought i was through and he was just flying at me. I think that's Derek Brown, isn't it? He's like pissed. He's like, yeah, you fuckers. You sold me. I didn't sell you. I put you on a team that's got aspirations. Don't tell him that we have aspirations as well, please. Don't do that. Catch, turn, Jalen Polk here. <clears throat> These are the, the types of rats that I really like, especially with the versatile player. You can very simply go for that one. Um, it's it's really nothing more than making sure that he gets the turn uh, done in a, in, a, in a very short uh, time period. And there we go. Frank Gore. Oh, yikes. Number 23 had a hand on him, but we actually got away. As Jalen Polk picks up an injury. Replacement for Tory Horton. Let's hope that we don't lose anybody to long-term injuries now. And long-term is anything that's more than a, than a week at this point in time. <clears throat> the thing is, if we were to lose players, it would be really hard to, uh, to backfill here again. Nice. Chuba Hubbard going forward. There we go. Having a lead of of uh, two touchdowns, Bruce Stern will not return. All right, so Leviska Chenault will be taken over. That is actually a pretty good position to be in. Kevin Thibodeau picking up the route here for uh, for Tommy Tremble. Let's see, can we can we get him? Yes, we can, and there we go. Up to the 13-yard line. Britt seems to be injured. <clears throat> Not something that I like to see, as I like to say. Why? I want to have the teams at their best. I want to have the teams at their best. Falcons uh, are beaten by the Cardinals here. As you can see down below. So these are the other results of the division. Oh, yikes! And again, number 97, Dexter Lawrence. That dude is no joke, man. Second and 12. It for the second time in this game, we lose yardage. For the second time, we lose yardage. Uh, which play do I like? We're going to try this one here. I, I would like to hit Darnell Washington on uh, on his swivel here. Or on the turn route, whatever you want to call that. There we go. That's beautiful, actually. Stepping forward to the three-yard line. <clears throat> Very nice pickup. I love that. Inside zone, right to left. Chuba Hubbard is an option here. Do we go with an all-out attack route here? Well, we could. I don't think we'll have a lot of time. So I think we're just going to try and pound it in. It's a first goal situation here. The question is, is somebody going to stop us? The answer is no. Chuba Hubbard breaking inside here. Williams was there. And I re remember Williams, I think we played him, we already played him in this franchise, but I don't remember when. But here we go, goes in, can't really be held up. Chuba Hubbard does a great job right there. So there we go. Come on defense. All right, now they pick up the slack and they pick up a touchdown. It's uh, 11 points again. Reduction. And we are 3 minutes 46. We're going to go with the play action. Come back here. I would like to hit Terrace Marshall Jr. Wow. All right. That was imprecise. That was deflected. 
<clears throat> not the best setup right there. All right, mesh spot time it is. Let's go. Terrence Marshall, Anthony Schwartz, fast players, very fast players. Oh, but the coverage is getting better, and he actually completes it. Jesus Christ, that was a great catch. Lindsey Rainey going forward here. There we go. Close play, action cross. Third and two. We could go for uh, for a run here. We will have the bull rush coming. Daniel Washington, Tory Horton, who has returned. So he got fit again. Yikes! All right, that was quick. Tommy, go, 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 man. Oh. Fourth and 16. All right, that was a crucial pickup. I was I was trying to get Tommy Tremble to run for crying out loud. Tommy getting up there. I was trying to evade, but for some reason he was just standing still. Fourth and 16. Yeah, we're going to punt it. We're going to punt it. I'm not happy about this. I feel like... I feel like we could and should have had that one. But here we go. Rhinestone House. Let's get it out. Please go to the side. That would have been the perfect punt. The perfect punt. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. And they score again. 1 minute 18 to go. 3 points left. Do you know what I mean? Do I need to put this into any uh, clearer words? Let's go. Quick reshuffle here. I want to get the clock rolling, man. I want to get the clock rolling. Uh, we are not going to do anything. Jesus, man. Can we have a stop on him for once? What's the issue here? We're losing yards. Dexter Lawrence is really, really punishing us at the moment. Play action read. Come on, man. Tommy Tremble. There we go. First down. That's a flag. Please, no holding. All right. Thank you. The Dolphins beat the Chiefs. That's actually nice. Panthers. We're going to, of course, uh, take this automatic first down. The clock has stopped, though. And that is something that I want to change. I want to get that clock rolling. And I want to get away from Dexter Lawrence because he is hyper, hyper, hyper now. Bobby Okereke. Jesus, man. That combination is really brutal. It really is brutal. Going that side, I don't think that's the best idea. So let's flip it. We're going to try and go the other direction here. The right side is very open. Is very open. Uh, the left side, of course. Mm. I could try to put someone on that route as well. But again, we're just trying to get the clock running. And here we go. Chuba Hubbard powers forward. Stay in bounds. There we go. That, oh, DJ Davidson injured. Clock stopping again. Jesus, what's wrong with his face, man? It looks super elongated. Speaking of faces, all right. I would really like to see a new set of default faces uh, in the next Madden game. That would... Gee... Good man, Dexter fucking Lawrence. All right, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna go for sideway runs anymore. Those do not work. We're gonna go for clear a straight runs or try to avoid the side here. That is not something that I want to see. That is not something. Come on, get a block in there. There we go. Nice. Chris Abrams train. All right, we can't get the clock ticking. There are constantly injuries. Right ankle, looks like. Inside zone. Gun to close. And again, Dexter Lawrence is there. We're going to flip this. Let's go the other way. Here we go. Chuba Hubbard. Come on, man. Let's get inside. Go, 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 go. And no injury. No timeouts left. And this is pretty much going to be it. It's fourth and goal. We, of course, are going to go for the field goal. We don't need to rack up points anymore. I only want to see them crushed. And that means taking away the remaining seconds. Putting a field goal in there. It's not going to change a lot. But we do go up. 
And now it's just more points between us. I do hope that is a little bit of a demotivator. And there we go. Very well done. We win the divisional playoff round. That is great. Brian Table not happy. I understand that, but it's just the way it is. Bryce Young here. Leading his team into the championship round. Great job. Well done. Bryce Young with a good performance today, 127.8, the rating, 274 yards, 73% completion rate, one touchdown. That's pretty good. On the rushing side, Chuba Hubbard is uh, the one, Jesus Christ, Drake made 51 yards rushing. That's that's interesting. Saquon Barkley injured. Chuba Hubbard only 37 yards, but two touchdowns. Just speaks of a very important clutch player. On the receiving side, Tommy Tremble was fantastic, 127 and a touchdown. Tory Horton 47 and there's a big drop off here I really think that Tommy Tremble was very important today just goes to show how important it is to have him back to have him back on the team uh, in terms of defense Chris Abrams drain got six solo tackles nine total tackles uh, four tackles for loss by Dexter Lawrence the second he was an, an absolute beast Kilo Mack gets two sacks Bobby Okereke gets a sack and he also had that forced fumble right First fumble. There we go. Bobby Okereke. He didn't get to do anything with it because we, we, we recovered it pretty quickly. But it forced us into, into a punt. So that's never good. Ken York didn't have a lot to do today. But when he did, he just stepped up. Looking at the goals on the right hand side. We didn't achieve a lot to be honest. Offensive corner, defensive corner. That is okay. We didn't get 450 plus offensive yards. But we pick up the five points there. So that's good. Game plan two plus passing touchdowns. That didn't happen. We got a new injury. I think that's Shailen Polk, but how long is he? No, it's Lindsey Rainey. Four weeks. Ah, oh, crud. Yeah, he's going to be missing the Super Bowl if we get there. It's not going to be fit in time, which sucks a lot. I would have liked to see him there. Now we can backfill with Chibola, so that's good. Joe Farmer will be back in two weeks' time, so he will be back for the Super Bowl. That is good. But again, let me just uh, focus you on the ages. 21 and 22. It's super young and they're already mid-70. They're just going to be going up, growing, developing ever so, ever so continuously. That's really, really great. Talik Williams will return next week. That's a big boost for the team. Um, I'm not sure who we're going to be playing, but based off of the results that we had before, uh, we are going to be playing the uh, Cardinals. Because they beat the Falcons. Over here the Chargers beat the Ravens. And the Dolphins beat the Chiefs. So it's going to be Chargers versus uh, Dolphins. In the championship round on the AFC side. And NFC will be Panthers versus the Cardinals. Alright I like that. It's a good outcome. Uh, it was a solid game. It wasn't, it wasn't crazy. There was nothing in there that was absolutely bonkers. But I just enjoyed it. It was a clean game. Uh, the defense super solid 95 of course uh, overcoming that felt good uh, i do hope you enjoyed it if you did do drop a like please subscribe it means a lot to me as you know and as always gonna say thank you for being here for joining me on this one and see you next time